There are several steps you should take early on in the scheduling process to ensure your students and parents cannot see next year's schedule before you're ready for them to. The first step you can take is to go to the building you're scheduling within, school under setup, parent portal settings under general, and use these checkboxes to hide what you want hidden from the portal. In this case, we're in the middle of our school year and we're scheduling for next year. Therefore, we want to hide next year's schedule. This is the same page you'll come to to allow students to request their courses online using this drop down menu. Using the hide function will keep them from seeing their class registration option. View only will allow them to see their requests. Edit one time will allow them to submit just once. And edit full will allow them to submit and edit their choices until you come back and turn it to view only or hide. So I'm gonna keep it hidden for the purposes of our example. In June, remember to check with your PowerSchool district leader to find out when your end of year process will be run. At that time, you'll want to check box grades and attendance and my schedule so that your students and parents cannot see their current schedule when it rolls over to the new year. Also at that time, be sure to change this to disabled so that grades and attendance aren't the default page when they log in. I'm gonna submit with only next year's schedule hidden from the portal as well as the class registration for now. Next, navigate back to school setup, and this time go to years and terms under scheduling. Find your newly scheduled year and click edit terms. You'll see all the terms that you're using for scheduling, and if you want to hide these terms in the portal, and in the mobile app from students and parents, you need to go to each term and click on suppress classes for this term from parent student users. So I'm gonna suppress and I'm gonna exclude from the Meta Online Report Card for now and I'm gonna submit. This hides this school year from the portal and from the mobile app. Now I'm gonna go in and do it for each of the other terms. Notice the asterisks next to each of the term names now. That means they are hidden from the portal and the mobile app. If your district has the custom public portal enabled, you should also follow the next step. Navigate to Setup under School within the building you're scheduling within. This time, select Parent Student Access under General. Go to the CPP, standing for Custom Public Portal page settings. This is a customization that not everybody has. If you do not see this tab, you may skip this step. Just like the other page, you're going to hide next year's schedule. And in June, you should also click on current year schedule and grades and attendance on this page right before or right after end of year rollover. I'm going to submit. When you're ready for students and parents to view their schedule, be sure to change the parent student access term to the new year or whichever term that you want them to be able to see. This is a setting whether you have the custom public portal or not. Sometimes we will see that the previous school year is still selected here at the beginning of a school year. Also, in August before your year starts and when you're ready for students and parents to see their schedules, 
be sure to undo all of the options that you just did in this example. Make the terms visible under years and terms. And return to parent portal settings and uncheck the options that you checked that you wanted to hide. Be sure to put in a ticket to the scheduling team if you have any questions about this process, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.